What's good, everybody? Welcome back to my channel. For the ones that are new, welcome to Nelly's Tarot and more. Like, share, and subscribe so all your friends can find out about what is good for the week of January 20, 2020. Doesn't sound nice. 2020, 20, January 20, 2020. You should play the lottery. <laughs> Today is, I think, um, lucky for life. You win, you get a thousand dollars, I think, a day for life. That's not bad. You don't win if you don't play. For this week's reading, we're gonna use life purpose, oracle cards by Doreen Virtue. You know how I am with Doreen Virtue's decks. And it's the original one, you see? How it has the golden edge. <laughs> yes. Happy Martin Luther King Day. That is... It's a holiday, yes. But the same way the Americans... Grief for 9-11, Muslims grief for Martin Luther King. Yes, they do. He had a dream. And even if after death, that dream kept manifesting. Great man. Aries, you have leadership. Leadership. You know I didn't grow up in this country, my loves. And your card says, take charge of this situation. What situation? I don't know. I'm over here. I'm not over there. Take it as it resonates, Aries. Let's go with Taurus. What's good with Taurus? For the week of January 20, 2020. I'm having a blast. It's, I don't know, it's magical. I think it's magical. Don't say no to me. <laughs> it is magical. When numbers repeat, it's nice. Taurus! What's poppy with you? For the week of January 20, 2020. What's popping? <clears throat> With all my Taurus. <laughs> Something funny, I'm sorry. <laughs> I Taurus, I am so sorry. No, nope, I already shuffled. What is wrong with me today? I think I know what's wrong with me. <laughs> <laughs> ay, ay, ay. I, I just read your text. <laughs> I am sorry. Let's get back to Earth. Taurus, you have infinite abundance. You know how much I love this word. Abundance. And it's not by itself. It says infinity abundance. And the message goes, you are fully supported as you devote yourself to your divine life purpose. Taurus, I'm, I'm jelly. I love your card. I love today's card for you. Gemini, what is popping with you? For the week of January 20, 2020. Gemini's. What is good with all my Geminis on the week of January 20, 2020? Don't mind my gallinero. <laughs> it was a long weekend for them. One of them was vomiting all night Friday, so I didn't get to watch the game. But not the game, the fight. I'm sorry. 
the UFC fight. Well, you know, we all we all knew McGregor was gonna win, right? <laughs> Man, I was telling somebody that I I would love to see Money Man with McGregor in that UFC cage. All you're gonna see. <laughs> All you're gonna see is Money Man going in circles. <laughs> and McGregor chasing. Oh, yes, he's gonna chase them. Gemini, you have trust. And your message goes trust your feelings and dreams to guide you, to guide your career and path. Let me start all over. Trust your feelings and dreams to guide your career path. There you have it, Gemini. Cancerians! Cancerians, what is popping with you? On the week of January 20, 2020. My loves, keep Puerto Rico Still in your prayers. Those earthquakes really don't let me sleep in peace. I don't. And now the after they found eight um how you say almacenes in English. I think you can say warehouses. Eight warehouses full of donations from Hurricane Maria. I know somebody from New York and I promote the crap out of that so people can send, go over there and donate stuff. He was one of the first responders, Nando Cash. Hi, Nando. He was one of the first responders that collected donations over here and went to Puerto Rico and dropped them off in Ponce. Everybody is mad over here. So now they're trying to say that the new governor is responsible for all that and they're doing riots over there in Viejo San Juan. You doing it to the wrong people. Tomás Rivera Chats and Johnny Mendez. Those are the ones that they need to be out of the government. Johnny? Mom. I'm sorry about that. So, yeah. The governor sometimes can have all these plans. If she goes to the Capitol and Tomás Rivera Chats decides to say no, or Johnny Mendez decides to say no. It's a no. There are a lot of things. I cannot talk about it. Because I will go to jail. Because all that stuff is under investigation. <laughs> I sit under investigation with a Puerto Rican accent. <laughs> Give me one moment. Have kids, they say. <laughs> so, yeah. I will go to jail if I sit down here. Well, stand up here and telling you all these things. All I can tell you is that once the government of Puerto Rico doesn't have those two in there, everything, and when I tell you Means everything is gonna be better. Cancerian, your car says animals. And your message goes you understand animals and communicate with them intuitively. Trust your inner guidance as the animals are part of your life's work. That is true, Cancerian. Take it as it resonates. So, yeah. 
They doing a riot to the wrong person. As a matter of fact, I saw signs talking about empleados fantasmas. Empleados fantasmas. That's when my family, unfortunately, has something to do with that. Not, not trying to do it. Just going, reporting that, that that was happening. And let me tell you something, nobody was listening but the one that is the governor today. She is the responsible person that the, the reason why the FBI is investigating is because she transferred that to the FBI in United States. Listen to me. I know this shit. You're doing the riots to the wrong person. Go to the Capitol! Huh? Go to the Capitol. Hmm? Demand! Tomás Rivera chats and Johnny Mendez to quit immediately. Also to return funds stolen from the people of Puerto Rico. Leo, let's get back to business. Leo, what is popping with you for the week of January 20, 2020? What's good with my lions and lionesses for the week of January 20, 2020? Yes, no, yes. You have a card. It says energy healing. And your message goes... Your natural energy healing abilities are an important part of your life purpose. That is a very nice message, Leo. Take it as it resonates. Virgos. What is good? What is good? With all my Virgos. On the week of January 2020. January 20? 20, 2020. <laughs> I'm sorry, I got confused. What's popping? With all my Virgos. Yes. With all my Virgos. For the week of January 20, 2020. Yes, my nails are shorter. Friday was so cold. It was so cold that I broke this nail. I'm not lying. It was this nail that broke. <laughs> so I had to trim them all. Trim them all. The same size. <clears throat> I met a guy with a broken nail. And I guess, you know, it doesn't matter. <laughs> Hi, puppy. If you watch me. If you don't, then don't watch me. I'll see you when I see you. <laughs> Okie dokie. Leo! No, Virgo! Look at you, how you got me. Oh my God, let me keep on. Virgo! What is poppy with you? On the week of January 20, 2020. Virgo, I hope you have taken the advice for the year 2020. You have light and love. And your message goes, your purpose is to bring divine healing, light and love to this world. I can leave though. That's for Virgo. You know who else is Virgo? Beyonce. Beyonce is all love. 
You never seen Beyonce in no scandal, in no ugly business. Her sister takes care of that. Yes! <laughs> I love Solange. I love you. You are a true sister. I am that sister. I am that type of sister. I am my brother's keeper. El que sabe, sabe. Libra! What's popping with you? On the week of January 20, 2020. What's popping with all my Libras? On the week of January 20, 2020. Look at me. Can't keep my face straight. <laughs> Libra! Who's popping with you? On the week of January 20, 2020. I'm like halfway. Okie dokie, you got Builder. Look, I think you got more muscles than him. It says your message, your your innate ability to build and create things brings you a deep sense of accomplishments. Let me read it again. You in your innate ability to build and create things brings you a deep sense of accomplishments. What are you trying to build? Libra. Take it as it resonates. Scorpios! What is popping with you? For the week of January 2020. <clears throat> My loves. I apologize about Friday's reading. Let me tell you something. Friday was so cold. And my son was vomiting. And I I had a headache yesterday as well. And I had a little headache Saturday as well. So it's it was kind of like a rough weekend. I apologize about that. Scorpio. <clears throat> Let's see what's popping with you. For the week of January 20, 2020. I wanted to do something special to make it up, but I'm not going to have time. So I'm going to try to do it some other time. I've been also packing and throwing stuff out. <clears throat> Still haven't found a new place. But as soon as I do, I want to be able to say I'm out the door. I don't have to pack. I don't have to do none of that. Scorpio, you have infinite abundance. This is the same card that Taurus, I think, got it. I, I think Taurus got the same card. So if you have a connection with Taurus, this might tell you something. Anyways, <clears throat> your message goes, you're fully supported as you devote yourself to your divine life purpose. I'm jelly. That's one of the best cards in this deck being very honest with you Sagis what's popping with all my Sagittarius on the week of January 20 2020 Take some water. <clears throat> Sagittarius, what is good with you on the week of January 20, 2020? 
I hope I find something. Let me see what's up. Big brother. That's what happened. Saggy! What's good with all my Sagittarius? For the week of January 20, 2020. Sagittarius, where is your card for the week of January 20, 2020? It kind of works out that I cut my nails shorter because I'm gonna, sometime next week I'm going to start gym. Hopefully. I've been saying that all month. <laughs> but I have to. If I want to wear that two-piece this summer, I have to. Because I still have a little jelly belly from having six kids, you know? What you think? No, it's a little jelly belly. <laughs> hey, it's a goddess body. Have you seen ancient goddess bodies? Statues? <laughs> it's a little skinnier though. <laughs> Sagittarius, where is your card? Something must be going on with you. Because there are some cards that they want to fly out and then they go back. It's like, yeah, yeah, but no. Yeah, you but no. That's not your card. This is your card. Children. No is not Narnia. Your message goes, <laughs> your life purpose involves helping, teaching, and healing children. That's a nice card, Sagittarius. Now let's go with Capricorn. What is popping with Capricorn? For the week of January 20, 2020. They're going all over the place. <clears throat> Capricorn, what is popping with you for the week of January 20, 2020? They sound like minions when they're all laughing and giggling at the same time. <laughs> Capricorn, you have justice. And your message goes, your career brings fairness and protection to others who need your help. That is so true for the Capricorn that I know. I hope he watches my video and he's not a hater. Who's poppy with all my aquas for the week of January 20, 2020? I'm loving how that sounds. 20, 2020. That's only going to happen once a month for this year. Next time is going to be in a hundred years. <laughs> For 2121, will that be 101 years? I think. Aquarius, what is good with all my aquas for the week of January 20, 2020? <clears throat> I'm talking about playing Lucky for Life. I have not played Lucky for Life for this week. I had to. You got three cards. One is career change. 
and your message goes, you're embarking upon a career that brings you the joy and abundance you desired and deserve. If you were thinking about changing jobs and stuff like that, let me tell you something about the second card that you have. It goes very well with the first one. This one is protected. And it goes. You are safe and supported while you change your career. Do you need another answer about that? Third card is travel. And your message goes, your life purpose involves traveling. Oh, I'm jelly. I want to travel. <laughs> I'm going to be traveling this year. I am. I'm already making, I, I don't know where, like, I don't know where. <clears throat> but my mom has to be here first to watch my kids this is not a family travel it's like like a self care travel every parent needs it every parent at least once a year go out by yourself you know this is somewhere in the world you know then next time you go to the same place with your kids, you're not going to get lost. I'm, I'm serious. I'm serious. I already went to Nassau, Bahamas. So, <clears throat> even though I was born and raised in Puerto Rico, I never, I, I didn't really explore Puerto Rico. So, I'm going to try to do that. Not this year. Hopefully, when Rivera Chats and Johnny Mendes are not in the government. Pisces! What's up with my fellow fishies? On the week of January 20, 2020. I don't know where. I know the Prince of Dubai cannot wait for me to go over there, but I'm not going to go. Pisces! You have artists. And your card goes, engaging in artistic activities is beneficial to your career in every other area of your life. I know. I know that. I'm Caribbean girl 978. I know that. <laughs> That's my promoter name, by the way. If you're ready for my crazy ass. <laughs> you can search me on Instagram if you want. Collective. What is popping with you? For the week of January 20, 2020. They flew. And you got three cards collective. That's all right. One is sensitivity. And your message goes, you're becoming more sensitive and need to make changes accordingly. That's card number one. Card number two is builder. I think Libra had this. Because I remember Libra had more muscles than him. Don't say no to me, Libra. You know it. And the message goes, your innate, innate, your innate ability to build and create things Brings you a deep sense of accomplishment. Don't mind my accent. I didn't grow up in this country. 
And last but not least, healer. And your message goes, you have the spiritual gift of healing and a desire to share it with others. That was a very nice read. Thank you everybody for stopping by. Like, share, and subscribe so all your friends can find out about what is good for the week of January 20, 2020. Thank you everybody for stopping by. God bless you. God bless you more. God bless you, your family, you and yours. Have a blessed week. Keep your prayers for my beautiful island, please. Pretty soon I'm going to be doing some promotions of where some affiliated, affiliated people are going to be collecting donations to send it to Puerto Rico. It's not to send it. And let's see who's going to pick it up. No. They personally are going to go to Puerto Rico and deliver it themselves to where it's needed. So keep up with me, my loves. I got to go. See you next time.